what led them to be who they are Srinivasa Ramanujan he would probably have been a great mathematician if he had been caught and tamed a little in his youth he would have discovered more that is now and that no doubt of greater importance on the other hand he would have been less of a ramanujan and more of a european professor and the loss have been greater than the gain words of g h hardy mentor of srinivasa ramanujan on the outskirts of madras town in the village of kumbakonam a traditional brahmin boy named srinivasa ayanga ramanujan was brought up who in the later world came to be renowned as one of the legends of mathematics the all time great mathematician srinivasa ramanujan was born on december 22 1887 in erode to kuppaswami srinivasa ayanga an accountant for the cloth merchant and komala tamil a housewife the poor financial background and the struggles due to poverty remained in the childhood of this genius by tradition he was taught about vedic scripts in tinne classes where children with head shaven and tuft of black hair in the behind from typical brahmin communities sat and read aloud in chorus this process of recall must have resulted in developing a great memory power the school days of ramanujan contributed to the shaping of immense desire and potential in the subject of mathematics the thoughtful questions arise from him put the teachers in trouble the taste for the subject grew rapidly along with him and started improving his abilities he used to borrow books from his elderly friends for enriching him with mock knowledge in mathematics One of them, Carr's a synopsis of elementary results in pure mathematics, hold a milestone in his development. He spent his time in isolation with this book and produced creative results which he jotted down on his notebook. This curiosity made him passive with other subjects in school life and college life. He passed his matriculation exams with first class and joined Gaman College Kumbakonam where he failed in his first year itself due to poor marks in English and physiology after 4 years in 1907 he joined Pachaya Pass College in Madras where he failed again the episodes of failure never dissuaded Ramanujan from his interest He devoted every minute of his life and got completely absorbed in the world of mathematics. In 1909, he got married with Sidamma, which assigned him with responsibilities of a family. Helplessly, he approached popular mathematicians in Madras with his works. He was struggling to earn for his livelihood and pursue his works simultaneously. Meanwhile, he got an eminent network of influencing people such as V. R. Iyer, founder of Indian Mathematical Society, Ramachandra Rao, wealthy mathematician and district collector of that period, who offered monthly stipend for Ramanujan to continue his works, and P. V. Seshu Iyer. Later, he joined as a clerk in Madras Port Trust office under Sir Francis Spring. and his manager Essen Iyer these two personalities were greatly attracted to the abilities of Ramanujan in mathematics they motivated him to write letters introducing his works to the professors in universities of London after a long period of negligence he was recognized by G H Hardy if they were not true no one would have had the imagination to invent them commented hardy after going through his works ramanujan was a keen religious person 
who adhered to his beliefs strongly. He was frequently inspired to Goddess Namagiri, a consort of Lord Mahavishnu in Hindu mythology, who produced revelation in his dream about mathematical equations. This shows the influence of his devotion to his works in his life. He tried to correlate spirituality with mathematics and concluded them as one. Ramanujan once quoted, An equation for me has no meaning unless it expresses a thought of God. Realization of Ramanujan's potential persuaded the Hadi to bring him to England. But the strict Brahmin convictions and words of his mother hindered him from going to a foreign land. After a multiple efforts of convincing, he got consent from his mother and traveled to England by means of ship. This points out the obedience and respect he had towards his parents. He was a person of all sorts of good moral values. On reaching England, he joined Trinity College of London with G. H. Hardy and his friends. These periods in the career of Ramanujan made the significant productivity through numerous complex theorems and conjectures. Hardy and his acquaintances, mainly J. E. Littlewood, was astonished to see these works of Ramanujan, who had limited conventional mathematical education compared to anyone around him. As time passed through the World War, suddenly, in the spring of 1917, he got severely ill due to tuberculosis. It weakened and degraded his health drastically. Through these difficult situations, he worked stubbornly and produced beautiful theorems, which was also stimulated by his election to the Royal Society. In 1919, he showed improvement in health, allowing for voyage back home. Back in his hometown, he continued to pursue his mathematical activity. However, his health worsened more, in contradiction to what he expected. During his last period, he struggled a lot, but never lost his faith. On April 26, 1922, the young prodigy passed away, leaving behind huge contributions in the field of mathematics. The mathematical theorems and conjectures of this self-taught genius are still being tried to understand and also used in various else scientific platforms such as black hole entropy. They are also used as tools to find algorithms and probabilities in the development of mobile applications such as Facebook. So, how different was Ramanujan from any youth like us? What was the secret behind Ramanujan's inspiring life? According to G. H. Hardy, my belief is that all mathematicians think got bottom in the same kind of way, and that Ramanujan was no exception except his extraordinary memory. Life of Ramanujan is a chapter which every youth must have pondered upon. The devotion to his interests and works, undesorted belief in God, confidence on his abilities and good circle of peers helped in the transformation from a Brahmin kin to a great mathematician of this world. Ramanujan's life is a best example of how dedication and struggle can lead from nothingness to the world of infinity.